Here in Middle Tennessee, we have the confluence of Appalachian music, uh, by black, you know, former slaves and everything from Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, from the Deep South coming up. So we have the blues influence. We have all the Scots Irish, Irish uh, tunes, you know, the bluegrass stuff, uh, the jazz, commercial country music. Everything is just kind of flowed together, and that's our experience here as as fiddle players in Tennessee. So what we've done is we've collected together myself. Uh, veteran of fiddle contest, many times over state fiddle champion, and uh, John Bolware, uh, also uh, multiple state champion. And uh, we put, we built this band around us. We have uh, Inge Wood, my wife, and Ben Ayers in the supporting cast, both awesome rhythm players. Uh, Inge's a great singer. Uh, uh, we all bring something to the table here, and we approach this like chamber music. One of my main inspirations actually was the Modern Jazz Quartet, how they took jazz music out of the clubs and put it into the concert halls. That's essentially what we're doing with fiddle music uh, that, like I said, is a potpourri of everything that you run into as a fiddle player here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, growing up as a, a contest fiddler, I've always um, pursued um, just the, the, the height of, uh, of technique, trying to get everything as, as clean and, and perfect as I can, but also um, being able to play with, with better tone and faster and, and much more difficult things. So I'm constantly working on, on growing technically, and, um, and the Tennessee Fiddle Ensemble has really given me a chance to do that just because some of the music that we work up not only is, uh, is technically difficult to play, but we've taken it to such a, a high level and to such a demanding level of perfection um, just to make it sound uh, the ultimate best that it possibly can. We've been very blessed to have had the best instruments in the world to play. My uh, main two violins were made by Samuel Zygmuntovich, arguably the greatest violin maker of the last 200 years. Uh, old Martins, old Gibsons, we have a Lion and Healy Quartet. Uh, we do some really cool mandolin quartet music, uh, some O'Carolyn things. Uh, uh, Chris Bosung, a wonderful luthier, uh, Sobel, I mean, the, the best of the best, and uh, we are really, really into our sound. We uh, take that part of things very seriously and really want to deliver the best uh, aesthetic experience on a sonic level in addition to the music itself. What we're really trying to do here in Tennessee Fiddle Ensemble is we're taking older styles of music uh, music from the 19th century, some of it even older than that, and we're just really applying kind of a modern uh, take on it. We're using kind of uh, theoretically complex arrangements, new rhythms and things like elements of other kinds of music. We have chamber music, that's a big part of it, uh, some jazz things. Inge and I for seven years had the Tennessee Fiddle Orchestra. It's a community orchestra, we played fiddle music of all descriptions, folk music, folk songs, and whatnot. And uh, this group really is a professional uh, extension of that idea where we cover the gamut of, of uh, fiddle music and, and the accompanying musics that go with fiddle music. What I love about the music from Tennessee is the influence of old style uh, violin music from Europe, Celtic folk music, uh, Scottish, uh, and different traditions as they move to America and they combine with the native music, the blues, uh, the Appalachian style and this mixture of music is rich in culture. We just give it a little bit of modern uh, flavors, modern rhythms, m modern style of arranging and we put it together for an audience to be able to enjoy the past, the culture and make it exciting and fresh. Our culture is very uh, heterogeneous and uh, that's that's what we uh, carry out and uh, we're very eclectic and uh, we embrace that. Sometimes uh, there are discussions about 
well, do we do this? Do we do that? Do we focus on that? It's like, no, we love all these things. So that's, uh, and the audiences love that. So the Tennessee Fiddle Ensemble carries to the world uh, the fiddle music and the other folk music that goes along with it. Inge's a great uh, folk, folk singer. Uh, we carry out to the world and, and represent our culture here, Middle Tennessee, uh, to, to people the same way if you want to see a Peruvian panpipe group, you know, how they in, in embodies their culture, uh, that's what we're trying to do. Like I said, our culture is very, uh, very uh, heterogeneous. So we hope you enjoy it.